Welcome back to another Wednesday walk around at Coyote Classics. I'm Dalton. I'm Chad. And today we have a lot of new inventory to show you. Um, bad news, this will be our last Wednesday walk around. What? Yep. Good news though is going forward, they're gonna be posted every Sunday at 3 p.m. So next week, uh, look forward to this video being on Sunday. Um, but today we got a lot of stuff to show you. So let's get right to it. So out front, these are all new inventory. We're gonna give you a little sneak peek on. If you see something you're interested in, um, call one of our sales reps here and then give you some more information. I don't even know where to start. We got all kinds of neat stuff. This is probably the best like new week's inventory we've ever had. I mean, Chevelle's, couple Novas, uh, Buick Riviera with a 455 dual quad. Let's start, let's start with down here with the one that just came in this morning. Let's do it. This little white Mustang that we're gonna talk about. This is how every, every guy wishes they could build their Mustang coupe. Um, call it a resto mod it's got a beautiful 10 inch screen in it enough talk we'll just show it to you first off the the paint the wheels the stance is awesome um, looking under the hood yeah, i mean you, it's what a fantastic build um we appreciate the seller selling us this one just a great car we're very happy with it took it for a spin this morning it came off the trailer last night and a uh, great car all the way around love the pony interior love the stance a lot of power, 302, built C4. Love that screen. But I like these these kick plates too, and then the headliner's a molded headliner. We were just really impressed when we drove it. I've never seen the headliner. Not to mention, it's got power door locks and a power trunk with the with a remote popper. Isn't that cool? Super classy. Dual exhaust comes out really nice. It's got the little cutouts there, very straight. How about this one? This, this is really cool. Um, this is how much the classic cars have went up. I sold this Roadrunner to a very good customer of ours for like $26,000, $27,000 like 15 years ago. And that was the going rate. It's a lot more than that now. Yeah, um, he was able to, to trade it in and made it never double his money. I'll tell you what, we just put the torque to us wheels on it. It's got new BFGs and this one runs and drives great. Built 383. 69 Roadrunners. Real deal, original color, bucket seat, council Roadrunner, which is pretty rare. Most of them all had the bench seat column shift. Yeah, they did. Now, I really like these two cars we're gonna talk about here next. Um, first off, this the 67 Pontiac Catalina Fastback. This is just a really true survivor. 100% um, original interior. And it drove like a new car when I, when I drove it as well. I think it had it at probably 95, but it didn't feel like it. Yeah. This thing is super cool. 100% original. Carpet, seats, rubbers. I love these Catalina Fastbacks. Very straight, aren't they? Very straight. But uh, this Riviera, though, is, is also pretty special. You just don't see these very often. This um, one's got like 25, 26,000 actual miles on it. Um, yeah, check out the original interior in this one. I open the hood. beautiful interior. The speedometer design on these is just so neat and it works perfectly. A lot of power options, power seats, power windows. Tilt, yeah, this pretty really much nice. everything on this one. This is a great, great car. Very, very nice. One repaint, other than that, the interior is 100% original. Um, it's got the dual quad set system and it's got the correct carburetors and stuff for it. So um, just a really neat system on that. We this one a, runs good too. It runs great. We have such a wide variety of inventory. Look at the hideaway headlights. Isn't that cool when they're all tucked up in there? It's it's awesome. Yeah, Very this cool. and that Catalina are just a couple cars you don't see every day. No, exactly. Neither is this Nova. I love the wheels with the poverty caps. Great look, great stance, but the best part is it's 700, 700 horsepower you know What I loved about this one? Fires right up. We just took this baby downtown and smoked a donut down there. Oh man, um, what it, a fun car. I want to pop the hood. This yeah. is super quality too. Uh, beautiful I'm embarrassed paint. though. I mean, it's filthy, right? So yeah. we haven't run it through our shop yet. We just did the check-in, filled it full of gas, and now it's going to go to detail. But wow. One of the nicest Novas I can remember having. This thing is just it is it, the nicest. We had another nice black one, went to Illinois about, a, what, a couple months ago. This is just as nice, maybe a little nicer paint. Um, probably another 150 horse more than that one. That's wicked. 
And then we got all our red cars sitting together too, some red Chevys. These two are four speeds, yeah. six, 65 Nova. Factory V8 car, uh, four speeds, got the correct buckets, console, all that stuff. And it's neat that you say that many of these were six cylinder cars. Look at under here. Very Again, nice. Again, not cleaned up yet, but absolutely show quality, all base coat, clear coat, painted under the hood, motors clear coated. This is a good one as well. And you just don't see too many of these. We never get these little fours and fives in, no. especially a hard top. Yeah, they're rare, rare units. Like I'm so you said, excited, I'm almost out of breath. I don't God. know what's going on. Is my asthma or what? But. I don't know. But like you said at the start of the video, it's such a, a neat lineup of, of new inventory and unique stuff too. From Riviera to this 67 Chevelle Super Sport, big black four speed. We got- Believed to be the correct everything. motor. It was decked. It's the right date on it, but we can't prove that it's the original bin number matching motor. But the door jam paint, the factory four speed, the gauges, Everything's crystal clear on this one as well. It drives awesome too. It drives just as nice as the 66 Malibu sitting next to it. If you this, look up and down the sides of both of these, how deep the paint is, uh, the bright work on the chrome, just quality, quality Chevelles. It is, and this little Malibu's got air. But both of them, like the, the red paint, the finish, it's so deep and glossy, just beautiful paint jobs. So we have seven top quality cars here for you guys this week. The only one that we'll get on the website probably here in the night before this video comes out is the 66. The rest of them, give us a call, talk to our salesman on them, but man, you guys are seeing them here first. Yep, absolutely. We're gonna go inside and check out the showrooms. Those are all lined up and there's some cars in there that you didn't get to see last week either. We'll swing through the office quick, see if anyone's in there and what, what's going on. Dave, how's your morning going? Going great. We just uh, traded uh, the big GMC uh, 69 pickup, the green white one, for a, a Super V at 69, which is a beautiful car. So I'm really excited to get that done. And we sold four others yesterday, so things are Nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we are picking some. I think you're going to be getting a lot of calls tomorrow on uh, all them cars out front. Well, we got right, a lot of neat stuff. Yeah, you got a nice lineup. Seven yeah. awesome muscle cars. So. I'm excited to see that. Yeah. What's going on today? Um, well, I'm, I'm talking to a couple people on the Falcon. Any idea when that video is going to be done? Probably. We need to film that one yet. Yeah. Probably later this week. You might have to do a little FaceTime on that one. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> but yeah, we'll work on that this week. But yeah, that's a great car. Yeah, it is. that's a super awesome car. I love that car. That's probably my favorite. Yeah, right. We're gonna check that out in the showroom when we get over there. All right. Thanks, Aaron. What else has been going on lately? Um, the painting's almost done. It is, and we got our we ranged the cars the other day to kind of make them look like they're got front row seats to the movie. This is driving. That cool. So she's working on it right now, doing like a little marquee yeah. for the drive-in drive -in. theater. Let's just focus in on this a little bit. Look at the detail. Yeah, this is neat. You're moving kind of fast, Big D. I'm on the move. Try to get the good angle. But even like the desert and the stars, you put a little glow in the dark on the stars. So if you're ever stuck in here at night, the you, glow in the dark, you can Robin? use the stars to guide you back to really? towards the door, yeah. Star map. Is it? I think so, that's what Robin said. Oh, cool. <laughs> she don't lie. Hey, beautiful job. I just love it. I love the detail in the Coyote and the Roadrunner, and it's just super cool. We're excited about it. Very cool. As is the 72 Buick Stage 1. We had three calls on this the other day. More than that. We had, I, was, I talked to three people on it. I think Dave talked to three. This is a really popular car for the right reason. Super rare, uh, original 455 Stage 1. Really rare color. Documented, too. Um, numbers matching tranny on this one. Yep. Um, not it's a seventy one four fifty five, so the block was changed, but the original transmission still and nice, fantastic original car. That car is really neat, and that walk around and test drives up on our YouTube channel. So check that one out if you want some more info on that. How about the stance on this El Camino? I mean, I know we kind of bragged it up on our walk around video, but this is how I want my Chevelle and any El Caminos to look. This has got cold air conditioning. Um, I got, uh, we got a little cool, a guy that watches our videos all the time. Do mm -hmm. you see this? Commented yeah. on this car. He built this car in, I don't want to, was like 2002 or something. Mm -hmm. He sent me all the information. So this is 20, 25 years old on the paint job. Awesome. Doesn't look like you did Isn't a crazy? great job. Real super sport. This little green Mustang, this sold just as fast as we thought it would. That, that car I, I absolutely love. If you're watching this video and you got this one bought, you're lucky, dude. This is oh, a man. cool car and yeah. fun, fast. 
I can't wait to call you when you get it and, and uh, have you tell us about your first time driving. It's just a wicked car, super well built. This lasted just that first night. This is one of the four, do we sell this one Monday? Yeah. One of the four we sold Monday. This one will be far behind it. 351 Windsor, runs and drives great, nice solid car, good color, same price as the other one, so. And then uh, our satellite. And then People down. are still dismissing the boat on this four speed buckets council satellite. It can't be the color, the paint is gorgeous. The chrome is awesome. It's a four speed. It's a good car. And it drives as good as it looks. This is the Falcon Aaron was talking about. We gotta do a video on whenever we get time. This is another really, really nice car. It Same is. We, owner had we that We kind of documented this a little bit on that first day, but now look at it since it's all clean. I think the first time we showed this on a Wednesday video a couple weeks ago, it was all dirty. And it had different wheels on it. Now we got the yep. right wheels back on it. The guy who had both this and then the 70, um, to Cyclone, or not Cyclone, Comet GT. Um, I always want to misclaim it, mispronounce mis it too. Yeah, but beautiful cars, both of them. Uh, 73 Mach 1, we're getting really close to putting a trade together on that. Um, should know that in the next couple days. So if you want it, you better call soon. That's a nice, really nice Mach 1. Yeah, one of the nicest, Cobra Jet. really in all honesty, I want to show you under the hood one more time, show the viewers. I mean, that's just a gorgeous car. Overly restored got all the options the guy wants. Underneath just is nice. I mean, all yeah. painted gloss black. Trans Am, the project Trans Am sold right away. Yeah, our, our project had Monday to be sold, but this one doesn't need us besides a driver. We've had multiple people take this to different car shows, cruises, it's ready to roll. 70 Fastback, we dropped the price on this. If you've been watching this one, we dropped it from like 47.9 to 45.9. Give us a call, we might take a little less today. Yeah, I like it. Hey, 70 fast I'm gonna put this on there. Who's ever watching this video, I will sell this 70 for 42.5. 42.5, you heard it here first. If you're watching the video, that's special, a, that's a lot of car, man. Special deal for our Wednesday watchers. Yep, that's a lot of car. A lot of car for the money. We've never done that. No, we never I put like a it. special deal out, have like we? It. No. First time, it's first time fun. for everything. Special deal. Special deal on the last Wednesday walk around of our professional career <laughs> hey this is a really cool car get a let's get a little video underneath this one i mean you don't see fair lanes like this very often underneath you want to tell us what are some of the things you look for and people should look for good the question the forward. first thing on a fair lane they're unibody car so you definitely want to look where the spring spring purchase come back in here make sure you don't get a boil or bubble or rust here another thing is check this a lot of times you can replace these but they don't put the original grommets in so if they've got the grommets and they're all solid like that that's original Okay, both sides, 100% nice. rust free. The other thing on one of these uh, fair lanes, they always rod here in these seat races. See them here? Yep. Inner rockers. Very nice. Yeah, there's the your front frame awesome. rails, which are very short, but this subframe, everything is so important here. Even these, everything's so important because there's not a much of a frame rail that comes back. Yeah. yeah, very important. One last thing, right here. You always want to make sure the rear frame rails go into this floor pan and are still nice and solid. This is a rust-free example under here if you're watching this video. Yeah, really good. And we haven't power washed that one yet. The boys are checking it in and then that's gonna go to Jason. We're gonna buff it. This is how they come in. Do you see how it's just kind of a little dull? A little dull or hazy. We're gonna, Mike's gonna go ahead and buff it, but it's a rust-free original 390 car with buckets and council. With a white interior too. That's a good one. And uh, you've seen this a few weeks ago. Timmy's finally working on his next project, the 69 Olds convertible. Yeah, this last time we seen this was back in Marks Bay. We had to order some parts. It took about a week to come in here. We also put some new tires on it. The tires are just way outdated. Um, when we were doing, the top worked and stuff and we bought it this way. But do you see the, the leaking that's happened? We pulled the seat and seen that the top um, cylinders are leaking. So we put brand new top motor, brand new cylinders and all nice. new lines. Just so the next customer didn't have that issue. Yeah, good, very nice. Tim will give this a buff, but the paint's probably 40 years old. It needs, it probably will need to be repainted. Um, but we did go ahead and uh, got all new door rubbers. See how crappy these yeah. look? New ones coming for it. We got new ones. He's gonna buff it and put those on and uh, people, it'll really clean it up. People are always asking about your vet and the walk around. Do you wanna just tell them a little bit about it or if you're gonna sell it or what's your plan with the old Corvette? Cause you kinda, day by day you decide, maybe it makes I'll sell me feel it, maybe good, I'll keep Dalton. it. Get behind the wheel. This thing's Taking Lisa out on a date night, something like that. It just makes me feel good to get behind the wheel and drive it. I like that you don't sell it, because I always know where the keys are. So when you're out of town, 
I know. Between you and Ryan on. and Brady, all your brothers, hell, your sister Aaron, they all drive it, right? Yeah. Man, we got more cars that just came in, really. Yeah, we do. That aren't on the web. Stuff. These aren't on the web either. Uh-uh. I'll start with this uh, Mopar, because last week it was up in the air. You guys couldn't really see it. But now you can get a little better look at it while Brant's here tuning it. Yeah, this is one we kind of highlight a little bit. Brant's going to talk to us just a little bit about this, because um, we could have sold it like the last few people did with a bunch of toggles and shit under the dash. But we see stuff like that. I mean, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So we went ahead and uh, we're taking all that off. Um, collaboration going on. Oh yeah. What is a collaboration? There you go. Put that in first. Feel that. Okay. <laughs> hey, did we happen to check and see if that has much vacuum? That motor. We will. We're, yep. we're getting there. Okay. Yep. yep. What can you tell us about this thing? What's the What's the project with us? It had some added stuff that we just didn't like as a you know mechanic and stuff. We made it better. It rock 108. We didn't make it better. I hooked all the. New electric fans up to one relay, and one switch turns on the fans, the uh, fuel pump, and the uh, and the fuel pump MSD box routed inside yep. the trunk, which is yep. super dangerous. I also got the button on the shifters, a line lock. So if you guys do a video, nice. you hold still have the button, that figured. It'll lock the front brakes up and burn them out. Mm. Awesome. Let me. You have to show us how to do that. that <laughs> next one. This is. Uh, we haven't even drove this one yet. It had just some wiring, like I said. We wanted to get all that stuff out of there, clean it up, um, yeah. and get it ready to go. But Brant's hopefully after dinner, he'll kind of take this right. for his maiden voyage. Yeah. And if it's ready, this one goes right over to Jason. That'd be fun. What's Jay working on now? Um, nothing right now. Just finished whatever you had in there? Yeah, it looks yeah, like he's he cleaning got the, He was cleaning the 73 Cougar, wasn't he? Yeah. There's the orange Chevelle. Mark's getting ready. Sounds like the boys are doing some brake work on it. We did a ton of work to this one, too. Um, this one, paint was just, I don't know. We went had a wet sand and buff this. So the paint was a little orange peely, wet sand and buff, it looks great. Put air shocks on it. Um, we went ahead and threw a brand new uh, 1970 Chevelle Super Sport wheel on it. I like it. It's got a tilt column. Put new chrome on the uh, bezel there for the shifter. This um, is gonna be a fun car. This is a nice car. It's fast, fun, it's got a great stereo system. And it's not often that we have, everyone's always wondering what we have for four speeds. Sometimes we have more automatics than four speeds. Today I'd say a lot of our, our Chevelles and, and Novas are four speeds. Yeah, definitely. A lot more, lot more standard shift cars right now than automatics here at Coyote. And Justin's on a test drive. So that I think will conclude this week's video. Yeah, heck yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Wednesday walk around as much as I did. I know I ran out of breath a few times. I was so damn excited about the muscle cards we had in store for you guys today. Absolutely, and like Chad said, you know, if you see anything here that you like, feel free to give us a call. Um, if it's not priced in this video, we can give you one over the phone. Um, and thanks for watching all these Wednesday walk arounds. I think we've done 42 of them in a row. Um, so thanks for sticking around and watching all those with us. Um, and again, next week, you can look forward to seeing this video on Sunday um, at 3 p.m. But uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next week. See you next week.